What's up everyone? This is Dinah Rose. Welcome to my channel. You saw the thumbnail, you know exactly why you're here. I bring a unique commentary to your favorite reality TV shows and whatever is popping on social media. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Also guys, I appreciate every single one of you for rocking with me. So let's get started. First up you guys, it looks like the Discovery Network has joined forces with the streaming network HBO Max. Now it's gonna be called Discovery Max. And you guys, look who's joining the platform, Love & Marriage Huntsville and Love & Marriage DC. I didn't see any announcement for Bell Collective or the Detroit franchise, but most likely they'll be streamed over there too. Also guys, Melody has been keeping a very close eye on the ratings. After a season low, I believe it was episode five, it came in at 281,000 views. Episode six and seven did spike back up. And she actually been live tweeting too. Um, she missed last week though, because she said she needed a mental health break. We all remember what was going on, but she's back at it tonight. So let's talk about it. So y'all know that the scene opened up with Martel at the event space. He was checking it out for the Upscale Magazine party. Melody said that this was in a cool new area of Huntsville and that her daughter Mariah actually had an event there. And y'all already know they always do a stroll down memory lane with Martel anytime he has anything big coming up. So in this particular scene, Martel said that this was the first time he's doing something major without Melody by his side. Then Mel said, child, not the flashback to the other magazine covers. And the shot heard around the world in this scene, well, one of the shots anyway, is that Martel didn't know what to call Sheree. They've been dating for a year, y'all, and he called her his friend girl. Then Melody threw a little shade and said, aw, I made Rose and Rotel for my friend girls. That way they had options. And yes, they ate them both. Next up, we have Melody having lunch with her friend girls, Kiki, Nell, and Tiffany. In this scene, she tweeted that Tiffany is glowing, and she is. Tiffany was a beautiful pregnant woman. She says she loves her dining room. I think she mentioned in the scene that she can actually see the sunset while she's eating. She said everyone asked her to make the Rotel dip back in college. And Mel has been getting her eat on in these last couple of episodes. This scene was no different. She also tweeted compliments to both Nell and Kiki. Next up, we have dinner with Tisha, Kimmy, and Stormy. And y'all remember, they talked a little bit about the tea party. Stormy in particular said that she didn't like it. And she especially didn't like the instructor tapping her on the shoulder and reminding her to be a lady. In the episode, Stormy said, bitch, I've been a lady since I came out my mama's womb. Well, Melody tweeted, say less. I can't invite her to any more tea parties. Lipped in anyone? Do y'all think that Stormy's mom is going to let that tweet go? And of course, they shared some gossip about Tiffany and Kiki. So Melody said, oh man, I hope that this scene ends positive. Come on, ladies. I believe in y'all. Now, both Tisha and Kimmy allege that there's rumors out there about Tiffany and Lewis. I guess they're having some marital issues or I don't know. But Mel says she lives in Huntsville too. She said, what rumors out there about Tiffany's marriage? I ain't never heard of it. Then she added that the dinner these ladies were having was very different from the lunch she was having with her friend girls. And the title of this episode was called My Sharia Moore, which means the last half was dedicated solely to Martell. This is what Melody had to say about it. Make sure y'all watch the show on Saturday. I'll see y'all then. Then someone said, wait a minute, Melody Cherie, is that the end of your commentary? Mel says, see you on Saturday with a laugh emoji and a kissy face. She's done done. She's not saying anything about Martel and Cherie, and I don't blame her. Well, that was fun, light shade. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, okay? Like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit your notification bell, and I'll see you all on the next one.